And now let's get the latest from Hague. Uh, let's talk to our correspondent Liu Xin. She's live with us there. Well, Liu Xin, China says the tribunal has no jurisdiction in the South China Sea, and the Hague does not have the power of enforcement. So, what exactly is the role of the international tribunal in this case? Well, uh, an international tribunal should uh, uphold the integrity of the relevant international law and pass on just judgment uh, based on solid legal basis. However, in this case, um, the uh, ruling, the so-called ruling, has been decided in a non-transparent manner by five arbitrators, which have been either appointed by the Philippine side or uh, by a former president of the. International Tribunal of the Law of the Sea, who is a Japanese national. So, in this case, it's really not sure what kind of role the arbitral tribunal wants to serve. Whether they want to promote international peace and stability and encourage the peaceful settlement of uh, territorial disputes uh, between nations, or they want to meddle in the affairs. Uh, I would like to use a word. That was pronounced by a famous lawyer, who is also professor of uh, the University of Bonn, Dr. Um, Talman. He used the word legal activism, meaning the arbitral tribunal actively take took on this job and、uh, gave themselves jurisdiction, which are in excess of their power. So at this moment, after the illegal ruling came out,、um, I believe the tension in the South China Sea area、uh, has actually been. Even higher than before, so it leaves an open question to what role the arbitral tribunal has played in this case. Well, Yuxin, you also mentioned the non-transparency of this tribunal,、uh, saying that the chief arbitrator was actually Japanese and he was a supporter of the、uh, self -de collective self-defense rights in Japan, and he was also the one who appointed all the other four arbitrators. So, tell us more about these men and why the bitter tension between China and the Philippines fell into the hands of these five men. Also, do we know about how they handled this case? Okay. According to the procedural、uh, procedure, the Philippine side has the right to appoint one arbitrator, and if China would have accepted to take on this case, China would also have the right to appoint one more arbitrator. And the remaining three should have been appointed by the president of the International Tribunal for the Law of the Sea. However, because China opted out of this case, so the remaining four have all fallen into the appointment of the. Then, president of the International Tribunal for the Law of the Sea, who is a Japanese national by the name of Shunji Yanai. Of course, we do not want to speculate that he is appointing somebody who is totally against China. We cannot make that、uh, assumption. But、um, we have to bear in mind that Japan is also a country which is in ongoing territorial dispute with China. So it is common sense that a Japanese national in this case should have shunned away. From the job of appointing arbitrators in another case that involves China, because that would put very much in doubt the credibility and neutrality of that、uh, arbitration tribunal. Unfortunately,、uh, Shunji、uh, Yanai did not make the wise decision, and we have no idea to find out. We have no、uh, evidence to prove that this tribunal is actually transparent and、uh, neutral. Mang Mang. Well, our correspondent Liu Xin live with us from The Hague. Thank you so much for that.